Hey guys, Steven here, long time no see, but this time we'll be taking a look at, I guess, another comic book collection, or graphic novel collection, and this will be my last one, my final graphic novel collection. This is pretty much a solidified collection, pretty much nothing will change from it, considering that I'm already out of room. Sure, I could buy another shelf, but, you know... I'd rather save space and some money by just, you know, getting comics digitally. So I finally transitioned to digital comics. And considering that, you know, I'm more of old school and I like to get the physical stuff. But with something like comics, I think it's better off for me to get the digital stuff. So, yeah, from what you see on the shelf, it's mostly going to be DC and Marvel. But I do read outside of DC and Marvel, you know, Dynamite Comics, IDW, I Image Comics, Dark Horse, you name it. But, yeah, so here are my trade paperbacks. And I apologize for the figures that get in the way, so bear with me. And you guys can see here, here's my um, single issues right here. So pretty much the bottom is um, Marvel and the top is uh, DC. I know you can see some black in there, like this comic box is not full yet. And there are some other comics outside of Marvel and DC in there and I won't show a lot or I won't show every single issue in here just because it's going to take too long but yeah so I guess we'll just take a peek in here and yeah I still need to get comic dividers keep holding behind on those but yeah and pretty much I got six boxes the, the, these hold at least 150 to 175 comics in here. I mean, you could fit 200 if you just cram them in there together. But, yeah. So, I guess you can say it's about, like, a 1,000 or so comics in here. But, yeah. But, we're primarily going to focus on the um, trade paperbacks and hardcovers or whatever. So, I already wasted two minutes talking about it. So, let's get started. So, up here, you have the Batman Ultimate Guide. Um... These are pretty much early 2000s um, releases of these books, like the Catwoman Visual Guide to the Feline Fatale, and then you have JLA, uh, the Ultimate Guide to the Justice League of America, the Ultimate Guide to the Man of Steel, pretty much the Ultimate Guide of Superman. So let me just put Booster back here. And then you have the DC Comics Encyclopedia. I think this one is the 2004 one, while this one is the 2008 one, I believe, and I know they did make a, the newest version that included New 52 stuff and Rebirth, but I'm more of a pre-New 52 guy. Hell, I'm a pre-Rebirth guy, too, even though I read some of those, but yeah, I just like, I'm, I'm just an old school guy when it comes to DC, so, I mean, a 21-year-old into old school DC stuff. Crazy, right? And then you have Wonder Woman, you know, Amazon, Hero Icon. It's more of a documentary book, so... There's that. And you have DC Comics, The Ultimate Character Guide, which is more of a kid's book, which I still recommend. It has some New 52 artwork in there. Not sure about the info because the info seems really basic. So there's that. And then you have the DC Comics Year by Year Visual Chronicle. So, yeah, both of them. The first one, the navy blue one, is up to 2010, I believe. While the updated edition is up to 2014. So, yeah. You have the Green Lantern Omnibus, you know, which is the Silver Age. I think John Broom, who wrote the Green Lantern stuff. And then you have Gardner Fox's Justice League of America Omnibus, Volume 1. Then you have the Suicide Squad um, Omnibus, which is the original Suicide Squad, you know, with Rick Flagg, where, with a team of soldiers on the island full of dinosaurs and all those crazy adventures. So not the Suicide Squad that everybody knows, but there's that. Then you have the Supergirl Silver Age Omnibus. You have the George Perez Wonder Woman Omnibus. You have Batman the Killing Joke. DC Universe Rebirth. The Deluxe Edition. You have New 52 Aquaman Volume 1 The Trench. You have Batman Ego and Other Tales. And you have Batman Illustrated by Neil Adams Volumes 1 and 2. You got Tales of the Batman by Len Wein. There's that. You have Catwoman Selena's Big Score. You have Identity Crisis. You have Infinite Crisis, you have Justice by Alex Ross, you have um, the New 52 Justice League Volume 1 Origin, then you have the Brad Meltzer and, you know, Ed Benes, 
uh, stuff with or and Dwayne McDuffie with Justice League Tornado's Path, The Lightning Saga, Injustice League, Sanctuary, Second Coming when Worlds Collide, and then you have Justice League of America, Omega. Then you have the Lois Lane, the celebration of 75 years, and then you have uh, Superman Camelot Falls by Kurt Busiek, and then you have the Showcase Presents Adam Strange. That's our first trade paperback right here. So let's just go down. Like I said, I apologize for the figures and stuff in the way, but just bear with me. You have All-Star Comics by Showcase Presents, and then Showcase Presents Amethyst, uh, Princess of Gem World. You have Aquaman, The Others, The New 52 Aquaman Volume 2. You have Showcase Aquaman's Volumes 1 to 3. You have Aquaman, The Water Bearer. Then you got Showcase Presents The Atom Volumes 1 and 2. You got Showcase Presents Batgirl. You have The New 52 Batgirl by Gail Simone, Volumes 1 and 2. You have Batgirl slash Robin Year One. You have Batgirl Silent Night. You have uh, Showcase Presents Batman Volume 6, I believe. Then you have Batman Chronicles Volume 1. You have the New 52 Batman The Dark Knight Volume 1. You have Batman The Dark Knight Returns. You have Batman Death in the Family. You have uh, Batman Greatest Stories Ever Told Volumes 1 and 2. You have Batman Hush. And then you have Batman Nightfall Volumes 1 to 3. Then you have Batman The Long Halloween, Batman Second Chances, Batman vs. Superman, The Greatest Battles, uh, Batman Year One, Batman Year 100, Blackest Night, and then you got Showcase Presents Black Hawk, Blue Beetle, Booster Gold, Brave and the Bold, Batman Team Ups Volumes 1 to 3, and then you have Captain Carrot and the Amazing Zoo Crew, and then you have Catwoman New 52 Volumes 1 to 3. And then you got Catwoman by Jim Ballant, and then you have... Challengers, uh, Showcase Presents, Challengers of the Unknown, Volumes uh, 1 and 2. So, you gotta move Talia out of the way for a bit. But then you got Countdown to Final Crisis, and you have Crisis on Infinite Earths. You have DC The New Frontier, Volumes 1 and 2. You have DC Universe Online Legends, Book 3. You have Dead Man, Book 4. You have Showcase Presents, Elongated Man. You have Flash, The Greatest Stories Ever Told. You have Flashpoint, Flash Rebirth. Gotham Central, Book 1 through 4. You have Showcase Presents Green Arrow. You have Green Arrow Black Canary for better or worse. You have Green Arrow Quiver. You have Green Lantern slash Green Arrow. You have Green Lantern Chronicles Volume 1. You have Showcase Presents Green Lantern Volume 2. You have Green Lantern, The Greatest Stories Ever Told. Green Lantern, No Fear. Green Lantern Rebirth. Showcase presents Hawkman 1 and 2. History of the DC Universe. You got the Invasion storyline. You have JLA with Grant Morrison, Mark Wade, Joe Kelly, Chris Claremont, Kurt Busiek. So you have JLA Volumes 1 through 9. You have JLA New World Order. JLA Crisis of Conscience. You have JLA Earth 2. You have JLA Greatest Stories Ever Told. You have JLA Ultramarine Corps. You have JLA World Without Grown Ups. JLA Year One. Then you have JSA Presents Stars and Stripes Volumes 1 and 2. You have Justice League uh, New 52 Volumes 2 and 3 because I have Volume 1 in the hardcover. And then you have Justice League Midsummer's Nightmare. You have Justice League of America The Nail. And then you have Showcase Presents Justice League of America Volumes 1 through 5 right here. And then... Volume 6 is down here. And then you have Kingdom Come. Uh, Showcase Presents Martian Manhunter 1 and 2. Uh, Phantom Stranger by Showcase Presents. You have Power Girl, Power Trip. Uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws. You have Rip Hunter, Time Master from Showcase Presents. Robin the Boy Wonder. And then Robin Reborn. And then Showcase Presents Shazam. And then Shazam Greatest Stories Ever Told. You have Suicide Squad, Trial by Fire, and then the Nightshade Odyssey, which is the John Ostrander run. Then you have Suicide Squad, New 52, Kicked in the Teeth. You have the Showcase Presents Super Friends. You have Supergirl by Jeff Loeb, I believe. Yep, and Joe Kelly. Then you have Supergirl, Beyond Good and Evil. And then you have Superman, Showcase Presents Volumes 1. And then Superman Batman, Greatest Stories Ever Told, Superman Batman Public Enemies, Superman Batman Supergirl, and then you got Superman Family Volume 1. Then you have Superman The Greatest Stories Ever Told 1 and 2. 
you have Superman or Worlds at War 1 and 2. And then you have Superman Panic in the Sky. Superman vs. Brainiac. Superman vs. The Revenge Squad. Superman vs. Zod. Superman Whatever Happened to the Man of Tomorrow. Super, or Death of Superman. World Without Superman. The Return of Superman. Uh, Showcase Presents Teen Titans 1 and 2. Time Masters. Vanishing Point. Trinity. Twilight. Watchmen. Wonder Woman New 52 Volume 1. Wonder Woman by Mike Deodato. You have Wonder Woman by Greg Rucka, books 1 and 2. Wonder Woman Chronicles 1 and 2. Wonder Woman Greatest Stories Ever Told. Wonder Woman War of the Gods. Wonder Woman Who is Wonder Woman. Then you have Showcase Presents Young Love. Then Zatanna. And then uh, Zero Hour Crisis in Time. And then now we're getting into the Marvel stuff. So I'm sure some of you guys are looking forward to this. I mean, I'm not a big Marvel guy, but... You know, I'm really selective, but there's that. Uh, you have the Marvel Encyclopedia, which is the 2006 version, I believe. So it's outdated already. You have the year-by-year -year Visual Chronicle, which I really like this for Marvel better than DC's. Because DC's is not thick enough. It's too small. I feel like some info's left out. While this Marvel one is really thick, and it seems like all the info's there. And then... You have Fantastic Four The Ultimate Guide and Spider-Man The Ultimate Guide by Tom DeFalco who happens to be one of my favorite comic writers. And you have Avengers vs. X-Men. You have Fantastic Four World's Greatest um, Comics Magazine. You have X-Men Mutant Genesis 2.0. You have Spider-Man Return of the Cat Burglar. And now you have Marvel Essential Avengers Volume 4 which has the Scroll and Kree War. So... Yeah, and then you have Avengers by Brian Michael Bendis, you have Avengers Encyclopedia, Avengers Season 1, you got the custom hardcover Essential Captain America Volume 4, you have Captain America Winter Soldier, you have Civil War, you have Deadpool Max Nut Job, you have Essential Fantastic Four Volumes 1 through 8. So, yeah. And then you have Fantastic Four Crusaders and Titans. You have Fantastic Four Nobody Gets Out, Fantastic Four Strange Days, Marvel's Finest, Fantastic Four Heroes Reborn. You have Fantastic Four Ultimate Collection by Mark Wade, Volumes 1 and 2. And then you have Ultimate Fantastic Four Volumes 1 through 5. And then you have Infinity Gauntlet, you have Iron Man Demon in a Bottle, you have The Marvel's Project, you have Marvel Comics Secret Wars. It's the old school Secret Wars, so there's that where Spidey gets the black suit. For the first time, you have Amazing Spider-Man Marvel Epic Collection, Great Power, and Cosmic Adventures. You have Essential Spider-Man Volumes 8 and um, Essential The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 10. And you have Spider-Man Big Time and Spider-Man Birth of Venom. So, and now we go down here. You have Spider-Man Blue, Spider-Man Chapter 1, Spider-Man The Complete Clone Saga Epic Volumes 1 and 3. You have Spider-Man Death of the Stacys, you have Spider-Man Maximum Carnage, you have Spider-Man The Next Chapter Volumes 1 and 3, 1, one to 3, and then uh, Peter Parker The Spectacular Spider-Man Volumes 3, and then Volume 5. And then you have The Ultimate Spider-Man Ultimate Collection Volume 1, you have Spider-Man Visionaries um, John Romita Sr., and then you have Spider-Man Visionaries Kurt Busiek, and then you have Spider-Man... Uh, Visionaries uh, Roger Stern and then you have the essential Spider-Woman volume 2 you have Thor volume 5 you have uh, Marvel Essentials Wolverine volumes 5 6 and 7 the Larry Hama run I believe and then you have the Marvel Essential X-Factors volumes 1 and 2 you have Astonishing X-Men Gifted and Dangerous which is volumes 1 and 2 you have Classic X-Men Volume 2. You have Ultimate X-Men uh, 1, 3, 5, 7, and 12. I know it's a bit random, but yeah. Got them for super cheap. And then you have uh, Marvel Essential X-Men 2, 5, 7, 8. And then you have X-Men Bishop's Crossing. X-Men uh, Children of the Atom. You have X-Men Mutant Genesis. X-Men We Are the X-Men. X-Men Extinction Agenda, and then you have H.P. Lovecraft's The Dunwich Horror, and you have uh, The Adventures of Red Sonja Volumes 1 and 2, 
uh, Red Sonia, Queen of Plagues, and then Red Sonia, The Art of Blood and Fire. So, Volumes 1 and 2 by Gail Simone. And then you have the Red Sonia, She Devil with the Sword, Omnibus. Even though it's not that thick to be an Omnibus, but that's what they called it. So, yeah, that's pretty much my uh, comic book slash graphic novel collection. Like I said, I apologize if this is really sloppy and in the way, but... Then again, I haven't done a video in a, in a while, so, yeah. So this is pretty much my, you know, my definitive graphic novel collection. And notice how I've been doing um, comic book collections every season. I did one in the spring this year, I did one in the summer, and now I'm doing one in the fall. And pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much my definitive collection. I mean, I could show my digital if I screenshot it, but where's the fun in that, right? All right kind of lazy to do that but yeah that's pretty much it so this is steven and i'll see you guys next time